Hello friends, welcome back once again to Sibha and Jit's live video classes. I am Diti Shree back again with a new topic for y'all. The topic of discussion today will be fill in the blanks. Before we move on to the main discussion of our topic, I'd like to request you all to please to like our videos and appreciate our work. Along with that, do not forget to subscribe our channel. There is also the discussion box which will help you out if you have any comments or discussions regarding our videos. Please do jot it down in the discussion box and our team is always ready to help you out in the best way possible. So let's move on and start with the main topic of fill in the blanks. So before moving on to fill in the blanks, there are some basic steps which we have to understand. The first one is normal speed reading without losing the meaning. Okay, which means with meaning we have to read the statement at a normal speed. The next step that we have to follow is select suitable options. So we have to check out the words given in the options and then select the word which suits the best in the meaning. Eliminate options. Now after selecting the suitable options, the option which you feel is not fitting in the blank properly, you should directly eliminate them so that you do not get confused. So the ones which is uh, perfectly fitting into the blank, you should keep those options and eliminate the remaining ones. The next step is to select the best word which suits the meaning. So after you have selected some of the options which you think can fit into the blank, you must check out the word or the option which suits the best in the meaning. Okay. After that, if you are still in a confused state, okay, after selecting the suitable options, eliminating the ones which is not fitting properly, but still you are in a confused state of which option to select, okay? In that particular state, just leave off that question, okay? It is better that you leave a question instead of getting a negative marking, right? So if you are in a confused state, just leave it off. But try to attain the best word possible and if you are in a deep confused state, only then leave the question. Now we move on to some important tips that you have to keep in mind while solving this fill in the blanks. So good vocabulary. Okay, this section is very important from examination point of view and to have a strong grasp in this section, one must have a very good vocabulary. Okay, the next is read properly. So it is very much obvious that while you solve this fill in the blanks, you must try to read the question very very properly. Okay, the next is basic grammar rules. The basic grammar rules should be always kept in mind while fill in the blanks. Whenever you come across an article before a blank, it means that the word in the blank should start with a vowel. So this is giving you a hint and it will take less time to select the correct option. Okay, these are some clues which helps us in deciding answers. Next is the tone of the passage. The tone and the logical structure of the sentence must be kept in mind and you should never forget that. Okay, the tone of the sentence can help us determine whether the blank to be filled with the word is implying a positive meaning or a negative meaning. Okay, suppose the passage which you given or the statement which has been given, it is in a positive tone, then select the positive options only. And if the tone of the passage is negative, then obviously go for the negative options. Okay, so after that, uh, you must have a good knowledge of idioms and phrases. Okay, idioms and phrases are also sometimes asked in fill in the blanks. So you have to have a good knowledge over idioms and phrases. Next is time management. Time management is a very, very important factor. Okay, so do not take much time while solving a particular blank. You know, you are not being able to solve it proceed to the next question okay and if you have some of the time left then come back to the question at a later stage okay so time management is very very important and the final tip that is practice 
so without practice you will not be able to excel in any of the topic so practice is the main important thing so friends here is the let us try section and we will go through it and try to solve the questions together okay so the first question here is the tunnel was so dash and congested that we became dash now there is a point that you must keep in mind that sometimes you might come across fill in the blanks having two blanks at the same time just like this example one or sometimes you can have simply a single blank okay so basic rules are all the same but whenever you have two blanks at a time while going through the options you must keep in mind that both the word should come in full meaning with the sentence okay so now let's try to solve these questions together the tunnel was so dash and congested that we became dash so the options here are long and enthusiastic so let's try uh, to put the options one by one together and see which word suits the best in meaning okay so the first one here is the tunnel was so long and congested that we became enthusiastic now the tunnel was so long this is going with the meaning of the sentence but the second word which is enthusiastic is not going at all so whenever the tunnel is long and congested you cannot be enthusiastic right so this option is wrong let's move on to the next one and see the tunnel was so deep and congested we became cautious now the tunnel can be deep and congested okay you can also become cautious due to that but still let us move and check the other options if they suit in a better manner we'll select that particular option only okay so the third one here is the tunnel was so dark and congested that we became frightened this is suiting better way okay in a better way this option is suiting the sentence but still let's check the last option that is the tunnel was so crowded and congested that we became isolated no out of all the four options that have been given here c is the one which is fitting best with the sentence so the correct option here will be option c that is dark and frightened and the full statement will be the tunnel was so dark and congested that we became frightened moving on to the next question let's see what is here catching the earlier train will give us the dash to do some shopping now the options here are chance luck possibility and occasion now out of these four options which is suiting the best with the sentence let's check one by one chance catching the earlier train will give us the chance to do some shopping yes definitely if you catch an early train you will reach faster and you will have a chance to do shopping but still let's check with the other options also catching the earlier train will give us the luck to do some shopping no this is not going with the meaning of the sentence next is catching the earlier train will give us the possibility to do some shopping mm, yeah you will get a chance okay chance is the more appropriate word that is fitting so possibility will not go with the meaning next is occasion occasion is definitely wrong it will not go with the sentence so the correct option here will be option a and the statement will be catching the earlier train will give us the chance to do some shopping i hope this is clear to you all so with this we move on to the third question that is partnership is not easy to dash as it requires strong political will and high level of trust the options here are establish carry admit and estimate now partnership is not easy to establish as it requires strong political will and high level of trust this word can be an answer but still let's check the other options so friends always keep in mind even if you get the first option to be perfectly matching with the sentence still check it out with the other options also next is carry partnership is not easy to carry as it requires strong political will and high level of trust now until and unless you establish a partnership carry will be the next phase right 
So this is not going with the meaning of the sentence. Third will be admit. Partnership is not easy to admit as it requires strong political will and high level of trust. This is also not going with the sentence. Let's check the other one left out. That is estimate. Partnership is not easy to estimate. No. So among all the four options, the perfectly fitting option is A. And the sentence becomes partnership is not easy to establish as it requires strong political will and high level of trust. Moving on to the next question we have monetary policy has become not just the dash instrument but in most cases the only instrument to deal with the dash of economic downturn. Now what are the options? We have two blanks here. So we must keep in mind that both the word should perfectly match with the meaning of the sentence. Okay. So the first one is elected and hazard. Monetary policy has become not just an elected instrument. This is not going with the sentence because policy and elected is not matching. So the next one is if the first option is itself not going with the sentence, it is just useless to check the second one. So we immediately strike off this. This is not the correct option. Next is undesirable and risk. Monetary policy has become not just the undesirable instrument, but in most cases the only instrument to deal with the risk of economic downturn. This is also somewhat not going with the sentence, but still let's keep it for some time and move on to the next one and see. Preferred and threat. Monetary policy has become not just the preferred instrument but in most cases the only instrument to deal with the threat of economic downturn. This is perfectly matching with the sentence because not just the preferred instrument. This is also going with the first plan and threat of economic downturn. This is also going. Threat means some of the cases of danger right so there is only one option left let's check out with that also endorsed and menace I don't think endorsed and menace would go so among all the four options the correct option here is option C preferred and threat so monetary policy has become not just the preferred instrument but in most cases the only instrument to deal with the threat of economic downturn Okay, now let's move on to the next question and see. The next question is, Piyush behaves strangely at times and therefore nobody gets dash with him. Now the options here are about, through, along and up. So let's check the options one by one and see which is perfectly fitting in the blank. Piyush behaves strangely at times and therefore nobody gets about with him. No through with him no along with him yes so the correct option here will be along with him up with him is also not the perfect word to be put in the blank so the correct option here will be along so Piyush behaves strangely at times and therefore nobody gets along with him so the next question here is she has an aversion dash taking even onion and garlic now aversion means whenever you have a strong dislike for something right so she has an aversion dash taking even onion and garlic so what will be the correct word options are with taking even onion and garlic no at taking no against taking no she has an aversion means a dislike to Taking even onion and garlic is the perfect word which will fit in the blank and option D is the right answer. So the statement will be she has an aversion to taking even onion and garlic. So moving on to the next example we have although he is a dash person he occasionally loses his dash. Here also we have two blanks. So both the words must go with the meaning and it should perfectly fit into the blanks. So let's check the options out here. Although he's a quiet person, he occasionally loses his power. So whenever you are quiet, you, you cannot lose your power, right? It is not matching. 
So the next option is although he's a cheerful person, he occasionally loses his grief. How will be that going? Okay? So this is also not fitting in the blanks. So this is also the wrong option. Option C, although he's a balanced person, he occasionally loses his temper. This is the right option you can say because you are a balanced person and sometimes you lose your temper. Okay? But still let's check out the option which is left out. That is although he is a thoughtful person, he occasionally loses his anxiety. No. So the correct option here will be option C. That is although he is a balanced person, he occasionally loses his temper. Okay, now moving on to the last example, let's check out what is the sentence. The dash playing of loud music has led the angry residents of this vicinity to file a police complaint and move court against the organizer's lack of for dash the people's need for a peaceful neighborhood. Now here also we have got two blanks and let's go through the options and check the words one by one. The peaceful playing of loud music. No. You see, whenever you are playing a loud music, can it be a peaceful? No. So this option, the first word itself is not going with the blank. So we strike off this option. The next is abrupt and hope. So let's see whether it is matching with the sentence or not. The abrupt playing of loud music has led the angry residents of this vicinity to file a police complaint and move court against the organizers lack of for hope the people's need for a peaceful neighborhood now you see as the people have already moved to the court regarding this complaint so definitely they will need peace so the abrupt and hope word hope word is not matching with the second blank so this option is also wrong Third one is the incessant playing of loud music has led the angry residents of this vicinity to file a police complaint and move court against the organizers lack of for consideration the people's need for a peaceful neighborhood. This option is perfectly fitting into the blank because incessant means to play something without any stop okay, or to continue doing something without any pause. So this is what actually was happening playing of the loud music so incessant playing of loud music is also matching and consideration uh, the people's need for a peaceful neighborhood this is also matching with the second blank but still let's check out the last option what is there the fashionable playing of loud music fashionable itself is not going so this option is wrong so the correct option that will be perfectly fitting for question this question is the incessant playing of loud music has led the angry residents of this vicinity to file a police complaint and move court against the organizers lack of for consideration the people's need for a peaceful neighborhood. So the correct option here is option number C. I hope with this fill in the blanks is clear to you all. So this was all about fill in the blanks. I hope it was useful to you all. There is also an exercise section which will help you out to brush up your concepts and a score meter is also provided to help you check the scores. Along with that, I'd like to request you all to please do subscribe our channel and also like our videos and appreciate our work. So with this, I'd like to wind up today's session. I'll be back with another new topic for you all. Till then, take care and goodbye.